Hi guys, welcome to the Thinking Crypto channel. I hope you're doing well. On this channel, we cover the crypto news and we interview many of the folks who are building and investing in the crypto asset class. Earlier today, I uploaded my interview with Brett Tagepal, who's the head of institutional coverage at Coinbase. And we talk about the growing demand that they are seeing from institutional investors for crypto. And those institutional players include hedge funds, family offices, endowments, and more. And of course, Coinbase is custodying the crypto for them. Very insightful inf interview. Definitely check it out. Guys, also hit that thumbs up button. Let's get to f over 500 likes. Leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Guys, capitulation, even more capitulation into Bitcoin and crypto from companies. A Canadian software startup by the name of SnapUp puts 40% of their cash reserves into Bitcoin talk about bullish news because just earlier this month on august 11th to be exact microstrategy a publicly traded company uh, put 250 million dollars into bitcoin saying big they're making bitcoin a primary treasury reserve asset guys you have hedge funds endowments and so forth and retail investors getting in but now you have companies with cash reserves getting in they're doing this to preserve in an effort to try to preserve the wealth to try to preserve the purchasing power of their cash reserves because there is record-breaking money printing happening globally and that's going to lead to massive inflation and uh, you want to put your money in a store of value like gold or bitcoin and, and the rest of the cryptocurrencies and crypto has a huge upside because it's a global asset class it's new it's um, being adopted everywhere there's there's less gatekeepers right anyone with a smartphone can access bitcoin and start to purchase it right so an ottawa based graphic software company firm snappa announced monday its decision to move a significant amount of its cash reserves into bitcoin citing concerns of inflation and global economic uncertainty. So co-founder Christopher Gimmer told Coindesk in a private message, the allocation itself represents 40% of our cash reserves. The company did not mention the number of Bitcoins it currently holds. However, which Gimmer explained was a decision made for privacy reasons, and I can respect that. The initial 40% allocation is only the beginning of for the seven-person startup. We're still accumulating coins and we don't plan on selling anytime soon. Wow, that is bullish, guys. That means they're going to continue to accumulate, essentially buying the dips like you and I are and hodling. They're hodlers. <laughs> and this is why a $100,000 Bitcoin price in the next parabolic run-up is not far-fetched. It's not unreasonable, guys, because once again, multiple layers to this. You have your retail, you have your investors, your institutional investors and wealthy in individuals, and you have companies who are, who are sitting on cash and looking to preserve it, putting money into Bitcoin now. I mean, wow, right? He further stated, if we're right about where Bitcoin is heading, then our allocation could get very high. In a blog post, Gimmer explained his company's belief that traditional savings accounts are inferior to other options for growing cash reserves. I believe we now have a far superior savings technology available to us, Gimmer wrote. That technology is Bitcoin. Wow, guys. Wow. So bullish. So bullish. I mean, this, this is unprecedented. We are seeing uh, really a massive capitulation here. Gimmer also mentioned the recent decision by MicroStrategy to move $250 million into the leading cryptocurrency, which he described as fascinating. So like I like I said, and when I covered this news earlier this month, more companies are going to do this. And just imagine the likes of an Apple or a Google, those companies that are sitting on large cash reserves, putting just a chunk, a percentage of that into Bitcoin and crypto. I mean, wow. And this is global, right? This is a global asset class of so companies around the globe. And obviously, uh, Snap is a Canadian company and MicroStrategy is a U.S. company. So you can see companies in Asia, Asian countries and so forth do this. So very bullish. And we are seeing the start of the mass marketing, which we've been talking about on this channel for years. It's coming. TV commercials, print ads, online radio ads and all that. So here you have a full page ad for Bitcoin in one of uh, Hong Kong's newspapers, one of the independent ones. And, uh, you know, here it says Bitcoin will never ditch you. And here's a translation. Uh, banks today 
you're not ditching me, I'm ditching you. The newspaper is the Apple Daily, the largest print daily in Hong Kong, and also the last one with a strong independent editorial, meaning not under control of the Communist Party of China. So shout out to the user who posted that, but wow, right? And this is in Hong Kong. And shout out to Rohan Shirawat, who tweeted at me, showing a screenshot of a uh, newspaper in India. So he said, crypto ad in Indian newspaper, amazing and unexpected. And it's called the Economic Times. And you scroll down here and look at this. Wow. A huge, huge ad on here on the front page for Bitcoin. So it's starting and I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. Uh, more mass marketing is coming and these folks are going to be FOMOing in. And one other item that's going to be very important for crypto is the mass education and awareness that are going to be built by the central banks and governments around their CBDC. So people will say, well, what the hell is a CBDC? Is the government and the IMF and all these people are going to uh, educate them. And they're going to stand, they're going to essentially understand how blockchain works and digital currencies, and that will validate and uh, put their minds at ease with the crypto asset class and Bitcoin and all of that, right? Uh, pretty straightforward when you think about it. So Brazil Central Bank tasks group with laying out the roadmap to digital currency issuance. They're all making their moves from large countries to small islands. We've been talking about the Bahamas over the past couple of days where they put their CBDC on their balance sheet. <laughs> I mean, wow, guys, it's moving ahead. We've seen some videos of China testing theirs in the wild. So it's coming. It is coming. And like I said, uh, these agencies like the IMF and the Bank of International Settlements are going to spread the news. Yesterday, we talked about the IMF. Uh, publishing videos on cryptocurrencies and CBDCs. Today, guess who's doing the same thing? The Bank of International Settlements talking about CBDCs and how they work and blah, blah, blah. And here you can see uh, just a variety of tweets. I mean, wow, right? And these are uh, well-established, well-known organizations. So if they're telling you about CBDCs and crypto, the masses are more likely to trust them, right? Think about it. And that's, once again, the awareness aspect, the education aspect, and which I believe will lead them into the crypto asset class, which will uh, help them to um, further accept the crypto asset class. Because there's still a lot of skeptics out there, right? Let, let's be realistic. But if the government starts talking about crypto, oh, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> a lot of the sheep <laughs> will will follow. So, guys, I think something big is ahead of uh, coming soon because the IMF and this BIS, the Bank of International Settlements, are talking a lot about crypto and digital currencies and CBDCs. I think something big is coming soon. So I'm very bullish on the market. We're seeing bullish activity across the board, and uh, we got to be patient. Uh, I'm continuing to buy the dips, not financial or investment advice, of course. And every time the market pulls back, put some money in. I'm not putting like tons of only putting money i'm willing to lose so you know I'm, I'm accumulating building out my portfolio to make significant returns when the next parabolic run-up goes uh comes around so guys what do you think about this news uh leave your thoughts and comments below hit the thumbs up button share the video and i'll talk to you all later